Now today, as you see by reading the title, I am going to be reviewing The Death of the Incredible Hulk, one of the last revival movies for The Incredible Hulk TV movies. After the show ended, it was apparent that The Incredible Hulk wouldn't be the same, but apparently six years later, they found a way by making three T three made-for-TV movies. The first one being The Trial of the Incredible Hulk, although not a great movie, has a dumb plot, although I can enjoy it. However, The Trial of the Incredible Hulk, one of the most popular Incredible Hulk TV movies, although a great one, does not feature the Hulk at the end. And finally, by... And finally, by the way you're reading the title, there apparently was an ending to this wonderful trilogy of TV movies, apparently being The Death of the Incredible Hulk, which aired on February of 1990, where we finally say goodbye to The Incredible Hulk. Now... Now be warned that I will that I will swear on the channel and we'll be talking about stuff of the movie. So if you haven't seen the death of the Incredible Hulk, spoiler alert, I will be including some stuff from the movie. So for the first thing I need to describe of this is some of its backstory. In the middle of the death of the Incredible Hulk's production, there were plans to add Thor. To the TV movie. As we saw in the first TV movies, that, well, Thor and Daredevil were with the Hulk, and it was apparent that Thor was going to be added into the script or the cancelled fourth movie. Now, yes, you heard me, there was, there were plans to make a fourth film, which was scheduled to be released a year later, in which it has an interest, it has two interesting scripts, the first script being that the Hulk would, would speak in the movie. And a second script would be that David Banner would would be cured and will no longer turn into the Hulk and would help people who have Hulk afflictions will help them be cured as he is kidnapped by two government agents to foil, to stop a villain's plans he is forced to repeat the same way he turned into the Hulk. Now the movie was canceled due to the disappointing reviews of the death of the Incredible Hulk. Now let's start the review. For the death of the Incredible Hulk. The beginning of the death of the Incredible Hulk shows David Banner working as a janitor, as he is still on the run from his Hulk affliction, as he is still on as he is still on the way for looking for the cure to his Hulk affliction. In the middle of the movie, he works with two doctor he works with two scientists, Amy and and Ronald Pratt. Now, in at, right away, five minutes into the film, we get to see the first Hulk out, in which David just returned from the bank as he, in which David returns from the bank and meets a and meets a guy in the alley. He's asking for some money, but David refuses. He fought. He strangely, David strangely follows him into the alley where he is mugged, and this is when we see a badly painted Bill Bixby in green makeup. As he fights the bad guys, and m the most satisfying part of this entire goddamn movie is when the Hulk crashes through wall to wall, and 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 unfortunately, that's where it ends. That's where the fun ends. Now David is still working in the lab when he is when he is still looking for the cure. When the computer asks for his name, he goes by the name of I don't exist, which is kind of fun. I mean, it's a kind of nice nod to the TV show because it says in the intro that he that he is believed to be dead. Now I'm gonna tell you straight away to the end. David hulks out on the plane runway and unfortunately dies while falling 2,000 feet to the ground and his last words that that he is free. Let me talk about this movie. Let me say that the first thing of this movie is that it fucking sucks! Yes, the death of the Incredible Hulk sucks. It's not canon to, however, the TV show, nor any of the TV movies. David is a fucking pervert in this movie. Now, I'm not saying that David was ever a pervert. He said he was a medical doctor. But in this movie, they make him fucking perverted in this fucking movie. Even the villains in this movie are bland as well. They don't have any... They don't have any, any... 
any source material to any of the Hulk TV, F, TV, TV episodes, TV movies that I've ever seen. And we get this Black Widow clone who looks nothing like Scarlett Johansson, which is one. And second, Bill Bixby again took over as director in this film. Now, you could have chosen a million directors, and you decide to go with Bill Bixby? Why would you choose poor old Bill to direct this fucking movie? It just, it just insults Bill Bixby's name, and he says that he actually likes the movie? Who the fuck would want to see the Hulk die after seeing him in, in 13 years? Now, like I said, there were plans to make a fourth film, but it was due to the fact to the disappointing ratings of, well, how should I say it? Death of the Incredible, Death of the Incredible Hulk. And this would apparently be the last, this would apparently be the last time since we ever saw the Hulk on the big screen until we would see him in his big return in the very, very good, angly, incredible Hulk. Now, is there anything I like about this movie? No. They just, well, there are some, and they, and completely in this movie, the budget is so low that they had to recycle their own transformations. And it looks like they shot this in a hurry. They're like, oh, we need to get the third movie out. What should we make about this movie? Uh, we should make a movie about the Hulk's death. Oh, that's a fucking great idea. Let's just have the Hulk die. I mean, the Hulk literally survived drowning in quicksand, basically being burned alive in a fire, and basically survived falling 2,000 feet in the episode Freefall. Now, why can't you come up with a better way for the Hulk to die? Like, make him get shot like 20 times? Because in the TV show, he only got shot once because they wanted the Hulk to live. But in this movie, they were so lazy that they couldn't even come up with their own death. Instead, make the Hulk die by falling 2,000 feet. Why not make the Hulk die of like five bullets and that just be, then that would just be the end. <sighs> now this movie, now I've given a short review on this movie. And I will say that Bill Bixby does his great job in his final film role. Lou Ferrigno, for some reason, just does, and just looks like he doesn't want to be there. They got the hair wig mixed up, and it just doesn't feel right. Now, I managed to, now, I managed to get a copy of this shit, this pile of piece of shit, this pile of dog shit that I have. And it's awful. It was so awful that I had to break the disc. <sighs> I rate the... So I'll give the death of the I'll give the death of the Incredible Hulk a one out of ten. It is the worst movie of all time. Do not waste sixty bucks on this film, or else you have unless you have to die. Well, I'm Bixby fan, and this has been the death of the Incredible Hulk review. See you later.